साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् सुंदर सुंदर विनायक सुंदर सुंदर विनायक सुंदर सुंदर विनायक
ಹಾರಿಣಿ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಾಯಿ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಾವ ಭಯ ಹಾರಿಣಿ ಸಾಯಿ ಮನ 
कमला कांता
ಶಿವಾಯ ಶಿವಾಯ ನಮೋ ಓಂ ನಮ ಶಿವಾಯ ಶಿವಾಯ ನಮೋ ಓಂ ನಮ ಶಿವಾಯ ಶಿವಾಯ ನಮೋ ಓಂ ನಮ ಶಿವಾಯ ಶಿವಾಯ ನಮೋ ಓಂ ಶಿವ ಶಿವ ಹರ ಹರ ಹರಾಯ ನಮೋ ಹರ ಹರ ಶಿವ ಶಿವ ಶಿವಾಯ ನಮೋ ಶಿವ ಶಿವ ಹರ ಹರ ಹರಾಯ ನಮೋ ಹರ ಹರ ಶಿವ ಶಿವ ಶಿವಾಯ ನಮೋ Yeah. 
चित चोरा ये सोदा के बाद नवनीर चोर को started coming to me every night he used to take me somewhere he used to show me galaxy then he told he came to kill you i protected you aao mera beti tumhara intezam mein mera jeevan beet gaya itna badi bewakoof aurat ko hum zindagi mein pehla baar dekha hai welcome mrs jaya natarajan to the studios of shri sathya sai media center you have had decades of experience with bhagwan he has cured you he has safeguarded you and you have experienced his love in a million ways please tell us how swami entered your life first let me thank bhagwan for having given me this opportunity to talk about his mahima and his encounter my encounter with that supreme lord almighty i think we are very fortunate to have the supreme lord with us i think only bhagwan has uh, picked us up we didn't come i think it's out of his bounty and love i feel uh, he was feeling bad for the soul that has been moving around the world since he created the universe out of pity he collected all the souls to whom he wanted to merge with him so some uh, i read somewhere the lord's agony we human beings we won't come on our own accord to bhagwan to swami so he gave small small troubles the troubles multiplied so they used to go to some temple here there and astrologer everywhere nothing would happen then somebody used to tell them why oh, don't you try puttaparthi where is puttaparthi that's how bhagwan's leela starts then they will come to puttaparthi as usual swami's uh, leela he will ignore them as though he doesn't know everything everything and then he will call them just like a second the person becomes all right and his faith grows 
His love grows. He embraces them. That's my feeling. Because he wants to upbring the souls to merge with him. That is why he has collected all the souls who have come to him. Tell us your story. My story. Yeah. Uh, the childhood I knew, the name was only Shirdi Sai. That is through one Mr. Narasimha Swamiji who propagated about him in South India. So he gave us a big photograph, the Dwarakama he was sitting. And then I had a fancy for that photo. As I was hardly five years, six years. So I, he used to say, offer something to God, everything. So I used to buy one peppermint that is uh, badam coated with sugar. It used to be very big. In those days, you used to get one in Spencer and Company. Nowadays, we don't get in India. In Middle East, it's available, it's small. I used to bring that, <laughs> offer it to Baba. Baba, please take it, Baba. I never gave a chance for him to eat it. I knew immediately. That was my childhood bhakti. It went on and on and on and on. And then <clears throat> he started coming to me every night. He used to take me somewhere. He used to show me galaxy. I didn't know what a galaxy. Uh, every day he used to come. And then... Uh, he used to bring me back. Every morning I used to tell my mother, Amma, uh, the, Baba, he took me somewhere very far and I saw him lot of colorful balloons. Yeah. My mother thought I am dreaming. It went on. And then my sisters, I was the youngest, they used to tease me, ah, he, Baba comes and takes it every day. I'll just, she's bluffing. Then one day Baba came, I said, Baba, they are all teasing me. No, no. I will take you, don't tell anybody about this, okay? You are my beloved child. Wow. He sang a song. Mm. Shall I sing it? Yes. Aindu vayadinile Ari yaparu vatile Aindu vayadinile Ari yaparu vatile Yen mune vandhi ninraan Yen appan yen nayan Yen mune vandhi ninraan Yen appan yen nayan Yarapa nii yenreen Sulhiren vayenraan Yarapa nii yenreen Sulhiren vayenraan வானத்தின் மீது வண்ண வண்ண கோளங்கள் பேரொளி வீசும் தாராகணங்கள் வானத்தின் மீது வண்ண வண்ண கோளங்கள் பேரொளி வீசும் தாராகணங்கள் அறியுமா நீ என்றான் யாரப்பா நீ என்றேன் அறியுமா நீ என்றான் யாரப்பா நீ என்றேன் தேடி வந்தேன் உன்னை உன் தந்தை நானே காண வந்தேன் உன்னை ஷீரடி வாசி கண்டு கொண்டேன் உன்னை என் மகளே கண்டெடுத்தேன் உன்னை என் மகளே கண்டு கொண்டேன் உன்னை என் மகளே கண்டெடுத்தேன் உன்னை என் மகளே யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த மீனிங் யூ ஷுட் டெல் த மீனிங் இட்ஸ் வாட் அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் திங் He called me, I am his child. Swami has told me three times, you are my own, you are my own. No. <laughs> wow. Beautiful, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Then it went on and on, on and on. I studied, went everywhere. Everything went on. I was married. Till then everything, totally you forget everything. Life changes. So you used to worship Baba? No, afterwards, no, only with a photograph, no worship and all, because in the house that uh, habit was not there. Now I am a worshipper. With the, every minute I will be worshipping. <laughs> that, that was not there in the family itself. They were all, you know. So Baba came to you only in your childhood. Shidi Sai. Shidi Sai came to you only in your childhood. But I used to always say that is Baba is there. Then one, at uh, the same time, one very great saint from Thiruvannamali, he came. Our neighbor was a devotee of Ramana Magarishi. He came to our house. My father said, Megha uh, Namaskaram. All the girls did, I didn't do. I just looked at him. Three times my father said, very egoistic, do Namaskaram. I didn't do. Then he said, Doctor, don't tell anything to this child. This is the child who will see God face to face in your family. She will talk to God. Don't say anything to this child. 
I was very much elated. I will tell me, sir, sir, only God will talk to me. I will be with God. You are all nothing. I am very egoistic. You don't even make one namaskar to such a great person. But he told, you know, that I will see God. That <laughs> childhood argument, everything, it went on and on. So at that time also everything went. Then my husband was working in a coal field in Madhya Pradesh, a place called Kurba. He was a chief engineer there, looking after the heavy earth-moving machineries was in his charge. Okay. Then that time, uh, I met this Babaji, Tapasvi Baba. I was all right, nothing was wrong. And then there was one bank manager, and my driver used to say, Madam, you have to go to a Sant Purushai. You have to darshan karna hai. I didn't even know what Sant Purushai and all. And there is a very big saint here, you should uh, yeah. worship him. I was, uh, you know... Uh, secretary in the Central Government Officers Club. I used to talk in Russian. My life was entirely different. Every day, even every once a week, arrange veg and non-veg, everything, and uh, arrange all the these things in the club. I had a so small school also. I was running. So my s social life that way. Not that much Godward, but I used to light the pandal, pray. That's all. And then he said there. Uh, uh, then once we went, I didn't, didn't go. There was a very big burglar in our house. That time, uh, my driver took me there, but he didn't come out. Then he said, Ma'am, sir, this is not going to be a bag. The one who is not going to be a bag, he will not get it. Okay, came away. That went, uh, went away. After one or two years. So whatever years, you lost, you're not going to get. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's why he has not come out. That's what my driver told me. Okay, he came away. It's a big uh, burglary done by my domestic servant. Then he told, he came to kill you. I protected you. The Tapasvi Maharaj said. Uh, Swami told. I had a small argument with him. He, he came from Bihar to Madhya Pradesh with this. And then uh, my husband gave him a job. I got him married. I used everything. Then something he was, one day he argued, I said, don't argue with me. That's all, I didn't say anything. Another few who was working with my husband, he came and told me, Ma'am Sahab, Sahab to itna busy rehte hain, hum ek to puja karenge aapka gar mein. He kept on paper and on pen, that's all. He said, ek hafta ke baad fir aunga. Ye mera gar mein bhi ye karenge. Sahab ko koon dushman ho sakta hai. He was a very gentle, very, very honest, very nice person, my husband. So all of them liked him so much. After one week he came. He took out. In RNG, this thing Anumanji had written. He said, let her not punish him. Let her not go behind him. I will punish him. She will get more what she lost. He said, Mem Sahib Ji, aisa to likha hai. Oh, likha ye ye ki hai. That person who came from Bihar, he had done it. Okay. Then I thought I should not allow him to enter the house, you know. So when my husband came from Calcutta, I told him, look, uh, your pune uh, Anumanji has returned. So I don't want him in the house as a domestic help. Please put him somewhere. Then all the people, even everybody said, sir, isko ghar par nahi rakna. Aapko isko nikal dijiye. Dismiss kijiye. He said, I will not dismiss him. Unka pet khali nahi karega. Hami usko naukri diya hai. I said, then transfer him somewhere. Then he put him in that kadan, uh, underground. He used to be on the open course. He put him in underground. Then he said, Ham usko punish karenge, tum piche nahi jayega. Okay, say, chalo. Then I told him, tum ghar ka andar nahi aana. Bagar jo saab kaam dete hu, hi kaam kar lo. Okay, he went away. Slowly he lost his eyesight. Then he gave him a job to his wife in the school as an ayah. Then uh, next year afterwards, uh, my husband had to come to Bangalore. So from Champa, the 15 kilometers, I had to come in a thick, dark jungle. So he said, uh, train is at 5.30, will you come back only with the driver? You should have somebody with you. Then I called Mr. Murthy, CN Murthy, manager of Street Bank of India. I told Mr. Murthy, Mr. Natarajan is going to Bangalore. I have to come alone. No, 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 I will come with you. Don't worry. We picked him up. Then... Uh, he, uh, we saw him off, then he said, Abhi kya karenge? Club ba jana bala nahi, the joint secretary will take care, I have told him today. Uh, we will be here. He said, okay, with the lab, uh, mandir mein ja ke baitenge. 
भी साठ इसलिए यही ये बाबा जी रहता है ही टोल भी अच्छा दैट टाइम ऑल्सो आई डी नो वी आर सिटिंग इन दैट तालाब देन वन फेलो केम आफ्टर सम टाइम एंड देर लॉट ऑफ क्राउड देन आज से यह इतना भीड़ क्या है क्या बात है इधर देन जैसे जब मेला था तीन दिन का मेला के बाद तीन दिन से हम लोग यहाँ रुक रहे हैं जो बाबा जी का दर्शन करने के लिए वो गुफा से बागर नहीं आया तो आज जा रहे हैं हम लोग बहुत दूर जाना है जा रहे हैं ठीक है देन से लुक ही विल नॉट कम आउट अनलेस ही वॉन्ट्स टू ब्लेस पीपल इज वेरी 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 ओल्ड ही यूज टू बिकम लाइक ए लाइन टू प्रोटेक्ट दैट विलेज a lot of things is a very great siddha then after 10 minutes one fellow came he said hey ladki <laughs> i was very young you know tumko maharaj bula raha hai i thought maharaj means the prince of korba hai kisko bula raha hai humko i was little frightened pata nahi tumko bula raha hai tumko kaisa malum humko bula raha hai wo bolta hai to madara si ladki wahan baitha hai do bachche ke sath ek dost ke sath usko bula kya karke bola theek hai Then he said, "Look, how we are lucky. He's calling you. We went. His guha, guha was only this much. I sat here. Only this much. Totally the door. I went. He said, 'Aao, mera beti. Tomara inzadam mein mera jivan bit gaya. Aajao, aao, beta, aao. I looked at him. Baito. I sat in a small space. Me and Mr. Murthy. Thada prahata tumko milne ke liye." कैसा मेरा जीवन बीत गया ये गेन यू टोल्ड आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड लुकड एट मी सेड पूछो क्या चाहिए तुम्हारा इंतजाम में यहाँ बैठा हूँ पूछो क्या चाहिए ये दुनिया में कोई चीज़ नहीं जो हम नहीं दे सकता आई जस्ट गिफ्ट क्वाइट आई डी नो वॉट टू आस्क पूछो कि सेट दो करोड़ चाहिए देर आई वॉज इंटेलिजेंट had i asked for money i could not have made like this i said mera pati to bad acha naukri karta hai jo mera ghar mein aata hai usko sab acha dekhbhal karti hu to isse kya chahiye hum aapko kaisa bulana ho bhi humko malum nahi hum aapko kaisa pukarna hai jaisi bhi bulao tum mera hi hai tum apna hai beti tum apna hai tum jaisi bhi bulao तुम्हारा इंतजाम में मेरा जीवन बीत गया बेटी मेरा जीवन बीत गया जैसी भी बुलाओ देन ही सेट हम लोग महाराज बुला रहे हैं ए चुप रख तुम कैसी भी बुलाओ वन नहीं आपको महाराज बुलाएगा ठीक है देन ही सेट थर्ड टाइम ही सेट पूछो देन ही सेट दोनों हाथ से देने को तैयार है लेती नहीं है he didn't ask anything mr murthy only to me then he started talking in a very different language very different it was not hindi it was not bhojpuri it was not anything some language after some time he looked at me oh he put his head on my head hum ek to varadan dega tum kya varadan he said tumko sharir mein bahut bari dukh aane wala hai I looked. I didn't ask him what duk. He said, "Tumko koi nahi madad kar sakta hai, koi nahi karega." Ham abhi bol diya. Ye Prabhu Parameshwar ko. Uske saath itna der baat karta tha na, unhi ke saath baat baat karta tha. Wo Prabhu Parameshwar aake tumko tik karega. Usko karna padega. Ham bol diya. Wo karega. Fikar mat karo. Then he said, "Jab wo tumara saamne aayega, mujhe khyal karogi." हम जरूर करूँगी द टाइम ऑल्सो डू टास्क क्या क्या दुकाने वाला है देन ई सर तुम्हारा पति को प्रमोशन को ऊपर प्रमोशन मिलेगा बहुत अच्छा रहेगी जिंदगी में बहुत अच्छा रही बारी यही तकलीफ शरीर का वो प्रभु तुमको ठीक करेगा तुम किसी से हाथ नहीं फैलाएगी तुम बहुत अच्छा रहेगी तुम देगी तुम नहीं देगी देन अच्छा बेटी बहुत अंधरा हो रहा है बहुत दूर जाना है ना ठीक जाओ देन यू गॉट अप अगेन ब्लेस्ट में मेरा मन अभी फैल गया तुमको मिल तुमको देख लिया हम बहुत खुश हुआ बेटी हमने बहुत खुश हुआ ओके ही डेंट टॉक टू मटा 
देन एट दैट टाइम आई थॉट मिस्टर मूर्ति इतना बड़े लोगों को देख लो काली हाथ आ गया कुछ तो लाना है बोलते हैं ना ही हैड टेन रुपीज ही गेव मी फाइव रुपीज इज गिविंग क्रोर्स बट फूलिशनेस यू नो फाइव रुपीज ही देन इसे इसे क्या मतलब है उसको हनुमान जी का उंडील में डालो देन इसे वो राय साहब बनवारी को तुम जानती हो देर वॉज ऑन सेठ बनवारी लाल हाँ जानती हूँ इलेक्शन के लिए आया था हाँ वो क्या था इतना छोटा लड़का ये कम्ब स्तंभा को ऊपर कड़ा घर कर करता था कुछ भी नहीं जानता था वो मैं मुझे बहुत प्यार करता था हमने बोला देखो बनवारी तुम राव साहब बन जाएगा बहुत अमीर बन जाएगा देखा वो छत्तीसगढ़ में बहुत अमीर आदमी है भी है कि नहीं बना हाँ वो हम उसको वरदान दिया था ठीक है देन एक देन ही गेव सम सिंदूर छना खाला छना विद सॉल्ट दैट इज द प्रसाद ही मनो दे आर गेविंग ही गेवी ही केम आउट देन आई सॉ ही इज बियर्ड वॉज रोलिंग हिज हंच बैक डिड लाइक दैट टाटा स्वामी ऑल्सो डिड दिस टू मी टिल लाइ वेंट थ्रू आई लुक बैक ही स्माइल्ड एंड डिड लाइक दैट then he said then they went to the temple then he went and closed the door then that fellow came itna bewakoof aurat bole kya baat hai tumko kitna dena chahta tha apna powers tumko dena chahta tha tum nahi nahi bol diya hai bewakoof hum unke paas 30 saal se hai humko ek din kuch bhi nahi diya hai pehla tumko bola ke pucha tum to bola kuch nahi chahiye aisa bewakoof aurat ko hum kabhi nahi zindagi mein dekha log aate hain puchte hain sab de deta hai कम से कम तो पैसा तो पूछती थी वो भी क्यों नहीं बोली इतना बड़ी बेवकूफ औरत को हम जिंदगी में पहला बार देखा है वेरी इंटेलिजेंट बट आई नेवर सीन एस टू फीड वन लाइक यू सर वॉट एपन मिस्टर मूर्ति सर यू वॉन्ट टू गिव यू टू क्रोर्स वाई डी डी रिफ्यूज आई सर मिस्टर मूर्ति यू आर अ बैंकर यू माइंड इज ऑलवेज ऑन मनी you know but they think that i am uncomfortable in my life this this is enough this is enough for me i am very much contented he is a very senior man people respect respect me as a senior man's wife i have children to take care in the school i am a secretary i am a reverend i i used to speak russian so whoever comes from the embassy they talk to me i am very much honored what more you want and yes bless me that i'll be like this is enough uh two crore you refused but he didn't even ask me anything he didn't even talk to me <laughs> okay then we came away then immediately as soon as i entered the house his confidential secretary was standing he said congratulations madam what happened he has been become a director out of the visa then yes there are three people above him he has been appointed as a director of core india he said look Okay, that's all. That went after five, six years. This went on and on, and then uh, my backbone problem started. L four, L five. It uh, deteriorated like anything. The large two vertebras were smashed, and I couldn't sit. I couldn't get up. Always great pain. Always pain. So doctors giving me lot of antibiotics. I couldn't hear properly. I couldn't speak properly. I was in really. I had a hell in my life. Then later on, uh, the we went to one uh, yes American orthopedic surgeon in in Champa. We went to meet him. The moment he saw me, he said, "There is not one uh, problem in your vertebra too. Your vertebra has turned to right side. It's called scoliosis." Huh. Then I took the doctor with him. I said, "What medicine you gave me? I do not know." He explained to him. He saw the prescription. He tore it up. He said, "How did he give her this? Her bone marrow is nothing. You have virtually killed her." He shouted at him. Then he said. No X-ray is needed. The way you walk, I can make out. I am number one in America, missionary doctor. Then he said, surgery is inevitable. Then, then surgery will not be successful. Then what will happen? You will be in bedridden till you live. Is it? Yes. 
I will lead a good life. I don't want to live like an invalid person in my life. I don't want to live. I will commit suicide. That's all I told him. He says, suppose there is no surgery. He said, no, in sympathy, all the uh, discs will disintegrate. Then you have only that vertebra, column only will be there. Again, you will be useless. That's what he told me. I was really devastated. I decided I'll commit suicide. That's all. No other go. I'll come, my husband asked me, why are you so morose? I said, what's the use of my living? I don't want to live like that. He said, no, no, don't worry. I'll talk to the chairman. There are good doctors in the world. Not that, that you won't be treated. And your father has treated everybody very free. His blessings will be there. Don't worry. Anyway, I decided I will commit suicide. But how to commit suicide? <laughs> Another point. We came home. Then I was in the bed. There, you know, I can't get up and open the door. So six types of keys, one with my husband, one with the two girls, three with the servants. Everybody, they have to open the door and come. I can't get up from my bed to open it. And then both in Hindi, my curve to badal I couldn't do it. My husband had to turn me. And in the night, one position, I used to keep three pillows on the dining table and rest myself so there is a gap. The pain won't be there. The morning, my two feet used to be swollen. <laughs> really, I lived in hell. And then uh, at about three o'clock, the children, my younger daughter was hardly four or five years. Uh, the, my cook will feed her and send her to my neighbor, even one Mr. Ja, Mr. Ja in their house. She'll be playing with the children. My elder daughter was doing at a senior Cambridge. She used to come from school. They will come and do their work at about three o'clock. How to commit suicide? You believe this? Shirdi Baba came and sat by my side in my cot. I looked at him and said, Baba, Ningla in Tamil, is it you? He said, yes. I started crying. He said, you don't cry. You should not cry. If you cry, I am unable to bear it. You should never cry. I cried. He wiped my tears. And then took my palm, drew one line. He said, I will change your destiny. Don't worry. I will take care of you in my present body. Who will say that? Tell me. This happened in my life. Then he wiped my tears, put his hand from head to foot, he just rubbed it. He said, I will take care of you in my present body. Don't worry. He vanished. That feeling was here, drawing the line and putting my hand in this. What is this? How, how is it possible? My childhood bhakti, now I don't even have his photograph, he has come in front of me. Then I thought I should not tell anybody because they will think I become mad in the bed, bedridden per, uh, person. I kept quiet. But after some time, I tried, I got up on my own, which I never did for seven years. But rule is you have to, I can't sit. So shall I go? Yo, 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 no, no. He has mentioned your name, don't go. Swami has called you. In the meanwhile, Swami came in the veranda, put on the light. He came to the balcony, he said, don't worry, I am always with you. I will, I will talk to you tomorrow. Oh